If you need proof about the state of Oregon's classrooms, look no further than these pictures. Now we showed you a glimpse of a classroom in crisis yesterday, but now a new batch of photos show just what can happen when a disruptive student forces a room to be cleared out. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Haggerty. And I'm Laurel Porter. Since we started covering classrooms in crisis earlier this year, we've told you many stories of teachers feeling overwhelmed by students acting out, often in violent ways, but also feeling unheard and unsupported supported by the administration and lawmakers. Tonight, KGW investigative reporter Kristen Severance continues her investigation into classrooms in crisis. Kristen, I think maybe these, these pictures tell the story more than words can. Right, and I knew if we kept telling these stories, if teachers saw how committed we were to this issue, they would trust us and they would send us these photos, and they have, because we kept hearing about what was happening in these classrooms, and now we're seeing it. This picture was taken by a kindergarten teacher after a room clear. A room clear is when a student becomes so disruptive all the other students are removed from the class. The student having the outburst stays in the room. These photos sent to us by teachers across the area show what can happen before, during, and after those room clears. Look at this classroom. Desks and chairs thrown all over the room. The flag ripped from the wall. Or this one. Tubs of school supplies, other student bags and lunch bags thrown to the ground. This picture shows a destroyed room, tables and chairs knocked over, papers and projects cover the floor. Other images show tossed paper and homework. Now imagine your child is in one of those rooms. You get the picture and it's a disturbing one. It is, and a bill that would require every school district to track these classroom clears is scheduled for a work session on Monday. Boy, those pictures are yeah. really shocking. I know you want to get more pictures in. I do, I do. If any teachers are watching, paraeducators, parents, send us those pictures. I, I think they, they really tell the story. They show what can happen after these disruptive incidents. Kristen, I'm wondering, we, we talked at the beginning about teachers feeling unheard and unsupported. Are they feeling that they're being listened to now that we're seeing these bills in the legislature? I think, I think they are a little more hopeful. You know, we're tracking several bills related to disruptive learning. You know, there's the bill that would track classroom clears. Uh, there's the bill that would give millions of dollars to schools for mental health. They're hopeful, but I think it's a, it's a wait and see. It's the beginning. Exactly. Yeah. Kristen, thank you so much. You if bet. you have an idea for Kristen, you want her to investigate your story, give her a call, 503-226-5041, or send her an email, callkristen at kgw.com.